Welcome back to the channel. So I have two figures left. Well, technically three because I don't have Arbiter yet, but two figures left from series five. I've pretty much done heroes so far. So I'm gonna do the Grunt Grenadier. Now this is the only enemy we have from series five in the single pack. So I was actually pretty happy to see that we're getting a Grunt that had plasma grenades. I didn't know if they were able to do that at all. I mean, they are just really small, but very happy to see that. Here's an inbox close up of those. You can see the little plasma flame and like the little sculpting on that. So this gives me the idea that I think they could do like an oddball skull because you know they did like a translucent type of flame right there so you know the skull looks that way with the flames coming off so I think that could be something that we might be able to get in the future. You can see that it also comes with a purple base plate. Here is the back of the packaging for those of you that don't know these are the rest of the figures released in series 5. I have already reviewed Master Chief ODST and Sergeant Johnson. Still on the look out for Arbiter, but it, hopefully I should be able to get him sometime soon. Here is the barcode and the target DPCI. Now this was on the target app with the rest of Series 5, but never went live. So here it is just in case this does happen to hit target in the States. As you know, I went live with some of the Jazzwares team and they discussed that Series 5 should be hitting the States in spring of 2023. So uh, Fred Myers, Walgreens, and HEB. So we're definitely looking forward to that. We hope we see a lot of them once they do start hitting the States. Now, if you saw me open up the ODST, I opened it up very gently um, for just the purpose of that I could do that and I don't have to open it up like a barbarian. Um, and second is just in case I can't find another ODST, I would like to display it um, back in the original box, maybe here and there. Uh, but this box is actually kind of destroyed, so I'm just going to um, just rip it apart. Here is our Grunt Grenadier out of the packaging. Now, I, I believe this is a Halo 2, Halo 3 style of Grunt, and you can just tell that it's totally different than a Halo Infinite, um, just by the body style, the cone, and then the respirator on the face. Which, in the games, I, I love Grunts. They're hilarious, just all the different things that they say, and they're just, they're awesome, and I've always been a fan of Grunts, so having more of them in my collection, I'm not really complaining about that. Back of the grunt, you can see the rest of the sculpting throughout. So they went with a pretty dark body tone uh, color on this, which I, I, I looks pretty accurate from the Halo 3 style images that I'm that I'm looking at. Here is a close up of the face, and as funny as they are, they are hideous creatures. I mean, definitely a face only a mother could love. Here's a close up of the plasma grenade. You can see the translucent type of plastic coming off, giving it that fiery, smoky, fizzing type of look. And there's the sculpting on the actual ball of the plasma grenade where you activate it. So I don't mind that a grunt or a jackal come with a base plate. Uh, typically those are harder figures to stand, but I'm not having too crazy issues standing this grunt. The only one that I really had some issues with was gonna be the grunt mule. Uh, just that one is so back and top heavy, it just falls over quite a bit. Uh, but this one I'm not really having too many issues with. When it comes to articulation, this is basically a standard grunt that we already have seen in the past. So there's not gonna be any real changes or noticeable difference but we're still gonna go over it. Starting with the head in a neutral position, we can have him look forwards and upwards, and then we can spin it around. Shoulders are receiving the same type of treatment, so we have our hinges and our swivels, so I raise that arm all the way up, but you can take this other arm, bend it down and upwards. We can also rotate the arm around. And there is also a second hinge and swivel here at the bicep or the elbow. So we should be able to flex the arm forwards. It looks like we have a little bit greater than 90 degrees. That's awesome. And then we can also flex the arm backwards. Just a little bit of hyperextension. Nothing crazy, but that is still a great amount of movement. And then from there at the wrists, if I zoom in, you can see there is a hinge there. Um, there's also a swivel, so we can take that, spin that around, and then we can also flex the arm forwards and backwards. So, I mean, as ugly as these grunts are, I mean, he's pretty shredded, honestly. Um, I don't know what their diet is, but dang. So at the torso, well, actually not really the torso, it's the pelvis. There is some movement there. I mean, nothing crazy. I mean, there's just a little bit. You can go from side to side, just a smidge. Um, and that's about it. Just a little bit of flexion forwards and backwards as well. At the hips and legs, these grunts legs are always really squirrely. I mean, there's just a lot of movement and a lot of areas where it can articulate. So um, ball joints there at the hips, so we can flex it forwards, inwards, upwards, all different positions. I mean, that's crazy. It's a 
awesome range of motion there. So just like our humans, we have double brakes here at the knees so we can flex it back and you can just see where it opens up there. That's great. Awesome posability. It looks really good. You can have them in like, what is that, dancing positions or something like that. <laughs> These joints, by the way, feel pretty stiff for the most part. I mean, again, the grunt is a heavier type of figure for little joints, so you're going to have to maneuver it you know, just right to, to get him to stand without falling. But for the most part, these joints aren't loose where it'll fall over every time. So that's nice. And finally, at the ankle, hinge and swivel. So we can take the ankle or the foot, flex it forwards, and we can move it backwards as well. We can also spin it around. And then for the pegs at the base plate, they're at the bottom of the feet, basically in the center. Putting the grenades in the hands isn't too bad. Um, it is a little stiff here. I mean, I would rather the hand be tighter than loose. But what I've done is I've heated up the hand with, you could do like a blow dryer or like um, some warm water just to kind of soften the plastic a little bit and that'll make it easier to put the grenade inside of the hand. Here is our grunt driving the banished ghost. Now I would love to have the covenant style of ghost, just that purple, if they can make it metallic purple all over, ooh, that would look really good. So one of the things that I'm happy about with this grunt is they didn't change the hand like to a completely different hand where it can't function with other things. So uh, as you can see here, it could drive the ghost, no problem. And of course this grunt can operate the shade turret, no problem, I mean it just, he just sits in there like any normal grunt, so that's awesome, glad we can actually have the compatibility of doing that. And if you're looking for this shade turret, it happens to be hitting Ross stores right now. I think it's like $13, $13.99 hitting Ross stores. So if you don't have any of these or if you want to army build some shade turrets, uh, definitely check out your local Ross. And from there, of course, it can hold some weapons. So I went dual wielding with a needler just because I think it looks awesome and it's crazy deadly. Now let's take a look at every single grunt that has been released in the world of Halo so far. This is usually my favorite part of the video. I just love seeing how far this line has come. So starting at the top left hand corner, we have our series one grunt standing next to our series two which is probably my favorite grunt. I don't know why, I just really enjoy that one. It didn't hit the States a whole lot, but you can still find it in Canada. Then we have our Shade Turret grunt. These two were an Amazon exclusive three pack, which came with an Elite. If you're still actively hunting for that, I will post the link in the description below. Then we have our Series 4 Grunt Mule. And these two come from the Target exclusive four pack, which was Combat Evolved, Grunt, Master Chief, Halo Infinite, Grunt, and Master Chief. So I picked up a few of these when they went on clearance. I think the lowest I got it for was like $12. You know, I saw people get them for $20, $15, $12. So they're still on the Target app, but they're still full price, so which is like $40. So I will post the link in the description below if you're still looking for those. And you're probably asking yourself, why was this one included with the Target exclusive four pack? They look the same as series one. Well, there are some differences. It is the same sculpt, body, and all that kind of stuff, but you can see there are highlighted areas within the grunts, you know, cone and the respirator that give off that glowing like look to it. So there are differences between the two and the plasma pistol is also updated. Nine different grunts within six series of World of Halo, which I think is pretty impressive. All right, that wraps up my review and unboxing of series five World of Halo Grunt Grenadier. So the price point should be anywhere from $9.99 to about $10.99 a figure USD. In Canada, they range about $12.97, I believe. So the World of Halo continues to deliver with that price point. I really like the little translucent flames that are coming off the plasma grenades. I think that was a really nice touch. For me, I'm pretty partial because I do like grunts. So the more variations, the better in my opinion. I don't really have too much negative to say about this figure. I mean, it's pretty consistent with what we've seen in the World of Halo so far. My joints feel good, the paint applications are great, and we have some new accessories. If you like this video and you wanna see more of it, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I can keep pumping out videos like this. Find me on Instagram where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, toy deals, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. I post frequently on my stories when new things drop, so be on the lookout. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.